A ticker symbol that a lot of futures traders like to utilize is the Russell 2000 index. So how do we pull that information up? Well, what we're going to do is load our charting platform and I'm going to load a blank chart and where it says instrument, I'm going to type in Russell and then isolate it where it says future to look for Russell 2000 index opportunities on the futures contracts. And as I see, we have a ticker symbol RTY, it's in the futures asset class. And here's the E mini Russell 2000 index. So I'm going to double click this and this will be on a March 2024 contract. I'm going to click OK. And once this chart loads, I'm going to first notice that on this chart, this is not moving in pennies. It's not moving in whole numbers. It's moving in decimals, 0.1 movements. So it went from 1976 to 1976.1. That is referred to as a tick, that minimum movement. So what that means is when this moves 10 cents on a chart, that's going to equal one tick. That's the minimum movement the Russell 2000 futures index will move. Well, how do I know this and where do I find that information out? Well, what I like to do is go to a primary source, somewhere like Ninja Trader. And what I'll do is go to my broker, click on pricing, and then scroll down here to where it says view margins by market. And when I click this, where it says enter contract to search right here, what I'm going to do is go here and type in Russell and select search. And now we see that ticker symbol here, E-mini Russell 2000. Here's our exchange. It's an E-mini index. This is the amount of margin required for day trading hours. And then the amount of margin required to hold a trade multiple sessions. So if I click this descriptor here, I'm going to get all the information needed for the Russell 2000. Here's the months that it's available to trade on, HMUZ. And if I click the question mark, I can get better definitions. March, June, September, and December. So if I'm looking to trade a February Russell contract, it doesn't exist. So I have to look for a symbol that does something like the March contract. After that, we have the tick movement. And so the minimum increment is going to be 10 cents. Every time that contract moves 10 cents, either up or down, that's going to equal one tick of movement. And the valuation is going to be $5. So every time it does move 10 cents on the chart, that's going to equal a $5 movement. Here's going to be the hours that one could look for trades on the Russell 2000 futures contract. And these times are in central time. Here's going to be your fees and your exchange rates, your uh, clearing fees. And this is important to note, this is each way. So in trading contracts, you have an enter trade and an exit trade. So you take these figures and that's each way for the trade. If you wanna get the full amount, take that and multiply it by two. Here's your margin required for day trading hours and then your margin required to hold the position multiple trading sessions. Let's say you love it. You do your research, everything makes sense. However, you don't have enough to trade on that Russell 2000. There might be an opportunity to trade the same information just on a different contract. So let's type in Russell and hit search. And right here we see micro e-mini Russell 2000. So let's select this and we have a ticker symbol M2K micro 2000 and this is the micro e-mini russell 2000 and this trades the same months that march june september december each tick is the minimum amount of movement if it moves 10 cents on the chart that's one tick but instead of being at five dollars these move at 50 cents a tick so it's going to be significantly less trading hours are still going to be the same and that's in central time this will be your fees and keep in mind that's each way. And then here's your margin requirement for day trading rates as well as holding a trade position to another trading session. So now that we have the general idea and understand the pricing for it, 
if one wants to look for opportunities and come back here to our trading platform and then up at the top where we can search for symbols, we can start by typing in ticker symbol M2K. And when we see it listed here, we can double click it. And now this chart will be looking for opportunities if an individual chooses on the micro Russell 2000.